I think I have some explaining to do. This is a Dell Latitude E6440 from 2013. Yep, yeah, we're on macOS. Okay, let me explain. So this started life as someone else's because I bought it a year ago on Facebook Marketplace. It was running Windows 10 and the battery was appalling. It was also running pretty slow. So I changed the storage to a 512 gig crucial SSD. Made a lot of difference, but Windows 10 was starting to lose support. Windows 11 was too slow in this. So I thought, screw it. So even more backstory, I received an iPad um, that was iCloud locked um, and the owner didn't remember the password, but it was given to me as, a, as an iCloud locked device. It was an iPad 4 and I was like, you know what, there's got to be a way I can get into it. So, and upon research, you could only do it on a Mac. So, okay, let's make one. And that, plus having this to spare, made a difference. So I used this laptop, and I put macOS 11 Big Sur on it, and I'd done the tools, and I managed to get into the iPad. And it was pretty useless, to be fair, the iPad, but it was really cool having a Mac around, because never, I'd never used one before. So I'd just gotten into a, a Hackintosh with no experience, and I got it to boot, which was just amazing. And my Lenovo laptop that has been featured in two previous videos of mine was starting to mess about with the graphics driver and was, I, I had it had some issues I really needed to spend time on to fix. Um, but I decided to upgrade this to macOS 12 so I could um, use Microsoft Teams and WhatsApp and a good version of Chrome. I know Chrome is supported up to 11, but it doesn't matter. Because I wanted to try and take this to college. And that's where this video came from. I wanted to see what it was like for a first time macOS user. To use macOS. For a couple of months. Just to see how easy it is to learn for the first time. And just to get the hang of it. And see if I'd ever buy a Mac in the future. I just wanted to see how it worked. I get it this isn't the latest version. But we'll get onto that in a minute. But this video is going to be all about reviewing what mac os 12 is like to a windows user and also a little few things about this laptop as well in general because i love it and i think it's awesome that this is working perfectly fine first of all i just want to talk about the performance of the i5 inside of this thing and what of the upgrades i've done to it which has made this an even better experience now First of all, we'll talk about the battery life, even though it's it's plugged in right now, but that's because this video is months in the making. Um, <laughs> Mac OS on this battery has been a great help. So earlier on, I might have mentioned that I got a new battery for this, and it was actually the, the chunkster of a Dell 97 watt hour battery. Honestly, brilliant. And that gave me about four to five hours of constant usage on this even though you had to shut it down after every use because of some driver issues, nothing's perfect. And I also upgraded the memory to 16 gigabytes, which may seem a bit ridiculous, but I had it lying around and I thought, you know what, if I'm gonna use this, I'm gonna just gonna make, make it as good as I can. And I'm like, I even got, I got the graphics to show up, the RAM to show up. That says i7, but I think that was uh, something with the config file if you understand hackintoshes you'll know what i'm talking about and i also decided to call this the dell book pro because i needed a name for this this didn't this couldn't be called a dell latitude anymore this is running mac os and i thought dell book sounded just really good together and pro because it thinks it's a macbook pro which is honestly this is the funniest thing i've ever done and it's the funniest thing but when I take it to, to college and when I take it to out out and about, this has gone everywhere with me because it's it's just worked. And and I'll tell you a fun fact, this almost ended up on the news. However, it didn't, which I'm devastated on. However, the name Delbuck Pro did. Okay, let's move on to macOS as a, as a whole. 
I I love the I love the way it works. I love the I love the dock. I love being able to just open open that, and it will have the bouncy effect, like opening Google Chrome. I love how I love how easy it is to use and I love how quick it is. There's a couple of things I don't like. Like this one, I'd prefer it just to make it full screen. This is a Windows user thing, so bear with me Mac users. But it just makes it entirely full screen and then you've got the to slide. That takes getting used to, 100% because I'm used to Windows where it's just one big screen. And I get it, you can have different desktops. I understand that. But I also I also don't like how if you take a screenshot you can you've got it then you can drag it however it does it does just add it to the add it to the desktop which is really frustrating for clutter but luckily I can just put it in like a like folders and organize things and macOS does it on its own so that's a good thing I like how you can integrate it with um with your Google Calendar and stuff, which is really nice, and I love the gestures on the trackpad. But I guess the best thing about this is, it's just the performance that I could get out of this now twelve-year-old laptop on on Mac OS, which isn't even supposed to run on non-Apple hardware. It's it's honestly amazing and it just goes to show that Windows is so unnecessarily heavy with its new AI tools and the OneDrive and the nagging and the constant nagging for OneDrive and paying for Office that you just, they they forget about making things as just simple and performance based. Like this is just smooth. Uh, it's, I get it, it's not as fast as a brand new, whatever it is now, nine grand macbook pro but this is honestly for basic usage for emails for discord it's just as good for terminal and one of my friends is loves linux and he told me to install the neofetch plugin for mac so that's pretty cool and that just shows some of the specs there see it shows up as an i5 4200 m there and 16 gigs of ram which i think is just amazing for this even screen mirroring works, which I think is amazing. The volume works. Battery tells you how long until it's fully charged. Wi-Fi works. Apart from, apart from the minor quirks, like if you close the lid, and because I was so excited that I managed to turn it into a Dell Book Pro, I stuck an Apple logo on there. It was funny, but yeah, it doesn't go into sleep very well. However, I didn't think that was much of a problem because. I just shut it down because it wasn't that slow and from lesson to lesson I just start it back up again and it also saves battery anyway and I also set this up so it just <laughs> this is funny I also set it up so if I put my mouse into the corner it goes into screensaver just because I think it looks cool and funny that that isn't a Dell logo because it's not it's a Dell and it thinks it's a MacBook YouTube playback works flawlessly and so, but I mean, I tried Cookie Clicker. That was that was good. In fact, I have to I have to try this. Works alright. Got no issues. The music works fine. I'm just gonna mute that just in case it is copyrighted. But I've got no I've got no issues. It looks fine to me. I can swipe slide back. I love I love the dock. I love being able to see apps there. I didn't like I, that's that's not an applicable moment. But for example, okay, Steam. So Steam, I've pressed close. Yeah, it's got the little dot there, which shows me that it's still open and active. That's fine. It opens straight away. But that's that's it's just annoying. That took a lot of getting used to. And that I learned if you just go to Chrome and quit, it just quits, which is quite good to know. It takes, it definitely takes a lot of getting used to. I love the, I love the space bar to zoom in, like preview and stuff. 
simulator, which works okay on this actually. It, it, I think it just looks clean, and the and if it wasn't for macOS running on its own hardware only, yet yeah, Linux can do a lot of the things macOS can, but app support and it it's not as clean. Everything is integrated. What Linux needs is a massive ecosystem that that you can have whatever interface you want, and then they'd win, a hundred percent. And app support app developers need to start developing for Linux because I'd happily switch from Windows to Linux, but I can't because my even Office, you know, Office 365, having Word on Mac OS has just helped so much compared to Linux where I have to use it on the web. My point is I can use this still probably for another a year or so and I'd be okay. I've fixed my Lenovo, so I won't be, but my point is, is that I've actually enjoyed this. And just before we end the video, I just wanted to show you guys one more thing. Plug it in. It does the Mac OS sound. Okay, thanks guys for watching the video. If you liked it, subscribe. Because that obviously helps small creators like me. I'm just trying to entertain you guys. If you have any ideas of what I should do next, let me know in the comments. Because I'm always running out of ideas. But until then, see you later.